Hello and welcome back to Imperator Rome, the tutorial. And as you can see, the world has already changed a lot. Oh my God! Let's let's scroll a little bit. In Spain, well, there are three kind of big nations coming up. Carthage is still live and kicking. Macedonia also going good. Nor there isn't much happening. England's kind of the same. And well, we've done some conquering. We still need to get that last little tiny piece of uh, sem Semnium. Because we are just following all these, yeah, finishing off the Semnites. Semnites. Uh, but I kind of want to focus a little bit on a different thing. Because, well, the last things are all kind of conqueror and kind of diplomatic things because yeah that that's kind of the game conquering the world and do it that way but there's something else i want to focus up a little bit and that is the money because i noticed this i'm minus minus 21 and as you can see most of my money goes to army maintenance and fort maintenance. That's a lot of money. But kind of army maintenance, 12 ducats is going that way and fort maintenance, 7 ducats. So let's see if we can do something about our money problem. Because, well, I kind of want to learn this game as well. And the first thing I did, I think one episode back is I hired another legion where is it? this one and I do believe yes these are mercenaries so we aren't going into any war yeah we were kind of trying to get ready to well to conquer this we, we still have a lot of money left so let's start the game up with uh, this uh, but we can also do wait 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 we pause again because we can do one more thing as well we're not going to look at the score but I kind of want to look at the trade screen no nope, close that one up and this is my capital trade screen and uh, we start at our main capital is our we get two current trade routes why does it say I got two import routes well, you, oh, well, we could have three. Like I said, we kind of need to have more resources. Or at least something that gives us money. So let's take a look at the trade map. Possible trade routes. We got a lot of resources we can do. And I kind of want to get one of these economic ones into my... Like we got the cloth, we've got, I, I kind of want to have a 10% extra local tax because that will give us commerce income, gemstone, low 20% joke, ooh, gemstone, that's a nice one. So if we can get a gemstone in, I need to find out how this works because I kind of want to have gemstones, so is there any country I was hoping by clicking on this thing that I could... I want to have a trade route with gemstones. But I guess I think I have to find it myself, that's kind of annoying. Because, well... I don't know what all these colors mean, so I know gemstones are somewhere in this section but how do i find gemstones because i really 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 want to have gemstones trade route map mode all right so we are going to our capital room and can i see what they got marbles. 
But we are about to go to war with them. So let's take a look at Cartage. What does he got? Because they do need a surplus of it. Would be nice if I could see. Yeah, that's what I kind of was looking for. The capsules. There are. There are many interesting. Ooh, a Byzantium cloth. Does it say what? Yeah, it does say what it gives us. All right, this is this is more the way I wish wanted because now I can actually read horses wood. No, I don't want to have the fog of war dies that will give us local happiness. Livestock, man, there are a lot of livestock over here. Salt, other interesting one. Fish, salt. Olive's fur, I have no idea where the gems are. Kind of interesting, the more we go this way, the more the bigger some resources become. A lot of fish in this area, wood. A lot of wine in the French area, would expect that. But, well. Wine does may only make local happiness. Stone, local defense. Commerce in income, that would be a good route. Chance of piracy, 1%. Hmm. You can add on part now because I need to have somebody that will be able to have a surplus or something and I must say it's quite hard to to find a way to find those surpluses because are, are the thing one the only ones with a surplus because that could be the case and if that's the case then Let's just test this because local property grow iron. We already got the iron. Local slave happiness, and that will give us more slave, I guess. Then I would go. Starting experience, salt, local defense, stone, uh, all the kind of things I don't want. Alright, so the one with the button are the ones I can pick. And that's kind of annoying because, well, I kind of want to have one of these in the bottom. I'm currently importing rain and fish. Or it's kind of not the one, well, I guess we're going for the local stock. Kind of make the trade route grow. Now the problem is, where are these? Doesn't show light up. Oh, and now I already picked one. That wasn't what I meant to do, but oh well. Bad research ratio. All right, let's fix the next problem as well. Diplomatic rip, fabricating claims. That one is interesting. The city is producing 24 research points every month, with an output of 460 each year and population of 738. We get an efficient ratio of our research maximum efficiency cannot be higher than 300 percent so this is kind of funny because it's telling me i am doing something wrong but it doesn't tell me how to fix it so if you got any idea for me how to fix that put it in the comment down below and we got a disloyal character Grand tribes to family. Uh, well, we're, we are first going for war. I'm bringing up the speed. 
bringing my army into position because we are going to attack Eutria. Eutria. Okay, I pronounced that right. I hope so. Where are you? You. I was hoping that. Let's see, where is the army map mode? Province map mode. I still need to look. Barbarian power mode. Oh my god. Well, then I have to check it manually. This one got. Barbarian power goes on 20. Supply limit 28. So I guess you should be there. Yes, you are going there. What are you building? You're training a camp. Alright, so army strength is almost up. We are going to... This is the ruler. I kind of want to attack you. Uh, but I first want to know who... Who are your friends? Alright, this is what I wanted to know. They are guaranteeing. Alright, so they are guaranteeing something. They have some trade things with Cartage. I can declare war. No, I, I want to cause belly, so fabricate a claim. And I want to have a claim on something I could easily take. And the problem is it doesn't light up. Zoom to all right. All right, that that one. I could have that one, but second legion is not close enough. I kind of want something in this. Pisa Tuskia. Where are you? You're an island. I guess this one. Province of Oh, oh, don't want that. Yeah. Alright. So we're moving in. Oh no, we just have a claim. Sorry, sorry. Ah, we go back. Declare war. Oh, oh, oh. Slow down. Uh, some issues tend to divide the houses and none more than so oh, more than military training standards well it was being debated in the senate Publius Sempronius Sobas approached our consul and offered the support of a large portion of the civic faction. The cost of the support was left unspoken but should be aware alright so Well, we'll take it. So, we're now going uh, to declare war. They have uh, some forts on this time. I have no idea where the armies are. But we'll find that out pretty soon. We got our friends, buddies coming in with their armies as well. Alright, so... We are going to kill that army. Alright, so we got their first 8k and we kill a lot. Now I want to split this army up. You keep on moving. Guess we are going to attack their main army. Now we are having kind of problem there. 
come on, come on. Reinforce, reinforce them on time. Because else the mercenary army will be destroyed. This is the big battle. This is the big battle. Alright. And did we won? Battle of the Tudors. Yeah, we did one. Why doesn't it say like we won? Right, we are going to go after them immediately. Because we kinda need to kick their asses. My buddies are coming in as well. That wasn't what I meant to do. Legion 1. You're not Legion 1, you're like 4 Legions. How can I split you up? Oh my god, Chuck. We got 15,000. I want the first Legions. Oh my god, now I got 30,000 troops in there. Toggle. Oh well. Let them take it and then we'll go and fix how we are going to split it up. Oh, they're representatives of the civil civic factions. Publius Sepronius Sopus has taken it upon himself to call in a waiver. Uh, a favor. It would cause some embarrassment if we were decline. What is the what is the favor? Rome owes the civic the options. But well, what does it do? So it gains popularity? Doesn't be kind of clearly what they want. Alright, so then other troops are coming in. We are losing a lot of money. And one thing I learned as well the last uh, episode is that I kind of forgot in all the wars to take the enemy's money. And that was a big mistake. No, 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 no. I don't want to sue for preach yet. Well, we've beaten them over and over again. And... Well, their main city is about to fall. Come on. The siege of... Alright, so we've won the siege. We are ch changing the control. That's a nice thing. I, I really like that system because it's a big city. We are taking over... I don't want any messages. Tiles are unassigned. What's that? Oh, we don't have a Praetor. This office manages Republic Economics and can. Oh, we definitely need one. Do we got any Scorch family? We got a lot of Scorch family. So, who is the best? You're our Quintus Martius Philippius. And I guess you're of the Quintus family? No, you're from the Marcia family. Marcia, yeah. You are good because, well, you're a Scorch family. This is kind of tricky one. Because I don't want to... Want to cross the strait. But I kind of need to. But we are out of manpower, that's kind of the biggest problem. So let's first lure those other armies. And help that army as well. Take it down. Like I said, we are killing their armies. 
And if we could trap one of their armies on there, that would be pretty nice. <laughs> This is this is going good. Well, I guess I'm going to get my fleet out here as well. And then we're going for this city. Speed it up a little bit. In the meantime, we're taking the rest of, well, this beautiful land. Marshall advance, alright, so we got some advances, but there yeah, we do. This is what I was looking for, the tradition. Kind of want to get the next one, but we need that one tower to unlock it. It's going to take us some time. Alright, Liga's actions. The recent work of Plebeius and Eurus Gnaz, Flavorous. Man, what a name. His Liga's actions are, or actions in law. It's the first written account of the legal procedure of Rome. All right, interesting. This work propelled him to the office of Tribune. Tribune. Hmm. Man, this is hard to read. Uh, and guard him wide populist support. The full extent and interpretation of our law has until now been a verbal tradition of our juristic. Juristic. All right, so it's kind of well an X law, yeah. I guess it could. And we get a new ruler. Well, All right. So we got the seat. So this is slowly being taken over. Now I wonder, can I, yes, I can send my armies across. Can we send more across? Come on, how many ships do I need? Because I kind of want to send my army over to take more land. Our men of compass woke up and find a large mass of oil olives unlike any I've ever seen before. The local priest declared it a blessing of the Nimverma. Some say it even shone of preference of the rest of the world. Our high priest Publius Cornelius Bartolus suggested building a small shrine to celebrate. Alright, I guess that's going to cost me money, but give me omen power. So transporting troops is oh yes, it can be done this way. So kinda wanna get my army over. Alright, so we did lose Alright, putting the army. Yeah. Now we got them. So I guess he also have manpower problem and we kinda need to fix that. I guess we are going to focus on that in the next stream. We're definitely going to follow them and take that annoying little island because I know it's it's an annoying island in EU4 as well oh we first need to take that as well yeah so unpause the game oh I still got it paused oh my god this is an annoying island 
if you oh no that, that's another one that's this one in EU4 and a child has been born oh well good for you all right well we got 99 so I guess we can uh, sue for peace now let's take a look at it because this is kind of the important thing I totally forgot last time seed and I can make it become a subject I can get money and by control shift oh they don't have that much money I kind of want to see province that would be nice this and this this I cannot see it. what's the last one wait a second which one is is Alaya I cannot see that one all right so they will keep existing I am I don't care about because now I'm going into a peace error become a subject if it's going to become a subject then well that's going to be kind of problem get more Romans as a large city in the province Tuscany of Lutia plays an essential role in controlling the area by introducing their population Roman culture and assimilating some of them with our own ways we would turn them to our cause and make for sure that we'll stay loyal all right good Romans that will lose some civic power but I guess I'm going to need it all right so we end this episode with not only learning a little bit about train not that much but definitely we are going to look into our expenses the next time and we kind of need to look into how to get more manpower because well Rome is growing and most of my army is now scattered and destroyed on this section but well we will have to rebuild our armies because the conquest of Rome can't stop here I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode and tell me any comment down what I should do things that would help me and stuff well I forgot or just your brain spin off what you think of this episode because I love hearing to you from you guys and well going on a discussion of what to do see y'all in the next uh, important room that's going to be out next uh, Tuesday and uh, see you there <laughs>